So right now you can see that I got three layers and if I were to actually take this and keep it on top, you can see that nothing happens. That is because this is a normal mode. But what you can do is you can blend these colors out together by using blending modes. And to do that on the layer for shape 4, I'm just going to right click and over here on the left side you can see blending mode is an option. If I were to choose multiply then it'll act as if it is multiplying the colors, that is adding it to the color. So if I were to take this red right here, you can see that it adds on to the yellow, you see a bit of red right here. But if you were to go right here, you can see that red and green is added to make in brown. So this works like ink. Similarly, you can go around on the screen, which works in the opposite way. It seems as if now I'm signing a light onto the green here. That is, I'm signing a red light onto the green surface, which produces yellow. And then I'm signing a red light onto yellow surface, which is uh, producing a bright yellow, just like this. So that is how blending modes work. And there's different type of blending mode. There's like lighter right here, which is kind of similar onto a screen. There's overlay right here, just like this, which is a darker version of the uh, screen. There's like darken, which is light multiply right here. And similarly, there's different modes as you can see. So I'm just going to go around and then resize this so that you can see how this looks. You can go for a color dodge. You can go for a color burn right here, which burns out the color as you can see. You can go for hard light, you can go for soft light, difference and so forth as you can see, like exclusion, there's like hue, there's like uh, saturation and so forth as you can see, there's like color, luminosity, there's like alpha which actually makes the uh, things transparent as you can see as well and then you can go for erase and mask just like this as you can see. So there's different type of blending modes that you can use to get the output you want. So that is how you can use blending modes inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.